Josh here. It's uh, Saturday, October 2nd. I'm on the road to uh, Muncie for Whole Shot Media's uh, radio prep event. Uh, on my way out there to support our buddy Blake and his family at their race. Been tough getting scheduled to get out here for one of Blake's races. This is the fourth one this year. This is the first one I've been able to make it to. Just get so damn busy and get committed to so many races. It's just been hard, so. Excuse me. I'm happy to uh, finally be able to get out here and. Support Blake and his family. You know we love uh, we love Muncie. We go out there uh, pretty frequently for the uh, uh, Team Two Sixty and those guys uh, when they do the big end banger uh, races. We go out there pretty frequently. Support those guys. This will be the first time I've been up to uh, Muncie for a radio prep event. So it's uh, going to be a good time. We're going to have lots of fun. I know there's lots of Ohio guys coming out to uh, kick some ass and take some names and bring this money back to Ohio. I'll be out there with the guy. I got my cameras and stuff with me. So I'm going to get some good footage. We're going to have some fun. I'm also, uh, we also signed up to be an Outfront Brakes Fuels dealer, and so we're going to uh, be bringing back fuel to Ohio uh, today also, so we can start spreading the gospel of Outfront Brakes Fuels and uh, helping, helping them grow their business and expand. There's a demand for it in Ohio, and they need somebody. And they felt like we were a good fit, and I feel like we are too. So, be looking for that. Uh, that'll be coming soon, you guys. But today, also, I'm going to see my uh, I'm going to see my buddies from Mid American Customs. Um, I haven't seen them for a while. When we were out there earlier this year uh, filming interviews with them, we came across uh, their shop cat, Frosty, who was the coolest little cat there, there ever was. Well, I won't say there ever was, because I've had a couple of cool cats in my lifetime, but Frosty is definitely up there in the cool cats that I've met. Uh, rankings and Fro Frosty had kittens and uh, well I already got mine a toy so I'm going to be bringing a little little frostbite back to Ohio with me uh, I'm going to teach it to be the boss of the house teach it to kick Axel's ass all the time. Yeah. <laughs> that, that dude, he does, he, he's, he's good with cats. Uh, he's been around cats, uh, or our old cat before, so he's good with cats. He, he doesn't, he won't hurt her, or him. I, mean, I don't even know. I just told Nick what kind of personality I wanted. And he said, I got the perfect cat for you. And I'm sure that he slapped his hand on the roof of a car uh, after he said it. <laughs> uh, so I don't even know if I'm getting a boy or a girl. I got no clue what to name the cat. Frosty is a good name, but already taken. Frostbite. Uh... That's a kitten's name. That's not a, you know, that's not a cat's name. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do about naming this cat, but 
We're gonna go pick this little uh, little cute fur ball up here shortly, and uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Probably gonna go spoil the shit out of it and have fun. You know, one of my plans next year is to travel more uh, for racing. So, one of the things I am going to do is teach the cat to, uh, you know, try and teach the cat to listen a little bit. So, it can go on the, uh, so it can go on the road with me, keep me company, trying to find a really cheap, low, bu low budget uh, shitbox RV that I can that we can afford. Um, so hopefully we can make that plan happen and next year I can make a couple trips around the country with with the uh, cat, dog, and race car in tow. And, and, uh, maybe, maybe I'll let some other people go with me if they're not mean to me, but highly unlikely. So, I don't know. Let's see what happens here on the road now. And, uh, I'll update you guys shortly. So we're at the track. We got our new buddy here. What's that? I don't know. Let's investigate. Little snuggle bug. Don't know what we're going to name her just yet. She's a little cutie pie. Just a little snuggle bug. It's going to be my... It's going to be my road cat. Trying to get an RV. Well, I'm taking my cat on the road with me. Street race. 2022. Who knew that would be a thing? How could I not? How could I not take her with me? I don't know. Still no name yet. I have no idea what to name her, but uh, thanks, thanks Matt guys, Nikki Bobby, she's a little sweetheart, just what I wanted, appreciate you guys, she's going to get a good home, she's going to be spoiled to death, already I can tell you, <laughs> she's an explorer, She likes to check everything out. What are you doing, little miss? Huh? <laughs> oh, I gotta get back to filming. So I guess I gotta dig her out. Oh, maybe not. Hey you, come here. Hello. Such a little lovely girl. Come here. Ah. Oh, such a little lovey, lovey bug. I don't know. Don't know what to name her yet. that purr box just climb right up there just climb right up here and chill I don't know give me some suggestions on a name she's a cutie 
Look at that. Oh, such a loving puppy. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. What should we name her? She doesn't know why I quit petting her. <laughs> So as you can tell, this cat knows no about, nothing about boundaries or personal space. Whatsoever. It's a holy terror. <laughs> it's a holy terror. <laughs> Yeah, so I was supposed to get a chill cat that just, you know, wants to hang out and get loved on all the time. I think Nikki Bobby gave me the hellion. very hard to get anything done around here. <sighs> well, we've had the kitty home a few days and she's uh, acclimated well. Still having some little trust issues with the puppy dog, but I don't blame her. She's a freaking half pound kitty. He's a 130, 145 pound uh, Rottweiler. But, you know, she's a good girl. Uh, Help me edit videos and uh, attack my legs so far. Still haven't named her yet, but happy to have her. Come here. Psst, psst. Come here. She's a cutie, but she's a little shithead. Hey. Still no name. So it's been a few days. This freaking goofball. I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. <clears throat> She's getting acclimated pretty good. Still not 100% uh, with the dog. But I don't blame her. She's a little one pound, two pound kitty. And uh, he's a 130, 140 pound Rottweiler. She likes terrorizing me in my office, helping me edit video and whatnot. I don't know. I don't know about this dude. She was supposed to be chill, lovey dovey, and uh, she's pretty much a maniac. She's an attack cat. But she's growing on us. So we'll keep her. But that's the beginning of her story. Anyways, brought her all the way here from, uh, well, she was trucked down to Muncie uh, from the guys at Mac over there in Indiana. And then I brought her the rest of the way home to get old Columbus, Ohio. So she's a good kitty. For the most part, but if she don't learn to do some tricks or something here soon, she might be on the auction block. I don't know. You know how it is. I'm always trying to give an animal away around here. 
She better ship up real quickly. You know what I mean? Still haven't picked a name for her. I don't know. I gotta do that. Shit, she's been here four or five days now at this point. And, uh, yeah, no name. But, uh, I don't know. She is awful cute. <laughs> what are you doing, crazy? What are you doing, crazy? And she is fascinated with the phone for some reason. But that's it for this one. We'll uh, keep you updated. And if you watch the live feeds, if they continue like they did this last Monday, she'll be around. She stays stuck up my ass. So we'll see what happens. Help us name her. I still don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm not good at that. Have a good one. Thanks.